Hey guys, and welcome to my vlog. My name is Erin, and I'm a writer. I am working on several fantasy pieces, so I started this world-building vlog series so that I could go over some of the things that I've had to think about while creating my fantasy worlds. So today's topic is magical healing. Magical healing is one of my favorite things in fantasy, and it has a lot of potential to build up your story. Depending on how you've set up your magical system, you can explore the effects of magical healing on both the healer and the healed. So if you've done the work that we went over in the first magical vlog, then you will know what your healers have access to. You need to know how your magic works, where they're getting their magic from, and the legal status of these magicians. You want to know, are your healers using their own magic for healing? Do they employ herbs, artifacts, etc.? You also want to figure out how much traditional healing and medicine you're going to include in the healing process. So what are the implications of healing someone with magic? If you're going to have abilities like empathy and telepathy, then that's probably going to influence their connection with the patients. It could, in theory, make magical healing much more intimate than traditional healing. If that's the case, do healers and their patients form a bond if empathy or telepathy is involved? Quite often what you'll see is the Florence Nightingale effect, which is when the patient develops romantic feelings for their caregiver. You're gonna wanna figure out how your world deals with this, if and when it happens. Usually in our world, there are rules in place where medical professionals cannot enter into a romantic relationship with their patients until a certain amount of time has elapsed after they have stopped treating them. This avoids a whole mess of legal things, but it also helps for any of the Florence Nightingale effect to dissipate. So, what are the limits to magical healing? You're going to want to figure this out and stick to it. Do they have the same restrictions with magical healing as they do with traditional healing? Or are there things that can be healed with traditional medicine versus magical and vice versa? When magical healing is used, is it the magic itself that is healing or is it simply augmenting the body's natural healing response? And do you have anything that cannot be healed regardless of what method is used? If you do have a character that is a magical healer, this can remove some of the obstacles with getting your other characters to necessary care, unless the healer themselves is the one that needs medical attention. You need to figure out if healers can use healing magic on themselves or if it only works if they're applying it to someone else. It's also really important that you make the distinction between dealing with physical trauma and mental trauma. If you're healing a wound, that'll get rid of the physical effects of it, but it's not going to do anything about the mental trauma that went into acquiring that wound in the first place. So figure out if magical healing is purely a physical thing or if it's going to start going into mental and emotional healing as well and how you're going to tackle that if magical healing can't do a thing for it. If you have the limitless potential for magical healing, how is this going to affect people? Are people going to start getting more reckless because they don't have to worry about fatal injuries and death? Could healing be applied in such a way that you could reverse aging? Could it effectively be applied so that you could simulate immortality? And what would the implications of that be? Is there a point in which magical healing can prevent death or reverse it? Conceivably, if you have a limitless potential for it, you could raise the dead by healing the bodies. I'm not going to go into anything about souls in that point, but if you were going this route, healers could technically raise their own zombie army. Healing magic, like regular magic, could have people develop resistance to it. If there's only a certain amount of times that people can be healed, then how would you deal with it once people hit that capacity? Are your healers going to be regulated? Are they going to be properly trained and licensed? Can magical healers employ multiple types of magic? Or is this a case of only healing magic of one specific variety? The other interesting thing that you can tackle if you're going to be employing healing magic is consent and societal pressure. You want to know what would prevent a healer from healing someone? And how does consent work if the person is injured or incapacitated somehow? If healing can go above and beyond instead of just focusing on injuries they start to focus on aesthetics if you could heal things like acne balding poor eyesight any number of bodily issues 
would there suddenly be pressure for people to undergo these procedures? I've seen this in a couple fantasy worlds where because the technology or the magic exists to make people perfect, there is a huge societal pressure placed on people to undergo these procedures in order to be the ideal. That all really depends on how you're setting up your magical system, what the limits are, etc. But it's some interesting things to think about. So that's all I've got for you today on magical healing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a note. I will put all my social media links in the description below. And I will see you guys next week with another vlog. Bye.